In this Star Wars Eclipse news update video, I will be sharing with you some brand new details about the game coming directly from the developer themselves. Before we do take a look at today's news though, make sure you do subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any future news updates on Star Wars Eclipse. So late last night, the developer did a brand new interview at Tokyo Game Show, which is currently ongoing, and they revealed some new information about the game. We are fast approaching two years since when the game was announced with that incredible trailer, but news has been pretty scarce over the last two years. We've had a few things here and there that I've covered in videos, including some leaks that are supposedly purposely leaked by the developer themselves, which is just insane. More recently, we got an updated release year for the game, so they're targeting 2026. They also did a TV interview where they showed some behind the scenes of the making of the game, showing the motion capture, as well as sound design, things like that. Plus, they said that the game's development is going well. Yeah, we don't entirely believe that, but that's what they want us to believe. But we actually got something far more substantial at Tokyo Game Show. IGN conducted an interview with Quantic Dream, specifically Lisa Pendice, the Vice President of Marketing at the Games Developer. And when asked about an update on Quantic Dream, she said, Can I say it still exists? Because it exists. It's just not ready. It's simmering. On to some actual big details that we did not know about specifically. So Lisa says that the game will not have a game over screen, which is in line with previous games Quantic Dream has made. She says, One of the biggest focuses we've had when we announced Star Wars Eclipse was to make it clear that it is actually an action-adventure game which features all of the elements that you would come to expect from a Quantic Dream title. It's about the intricately branching narratives, multiple playable characters. There's no game over. Anyone can die, anything can happen, and the story sort of continues, so those signatures are still there. But what we have been doing is even more ramping up our expertise in the gameplay arena. So yeah, if you die, then there's no game over screen. You'll have to take control of another character that you have in the game. This might not really make sense if you've not played a Quantic Dream or other branching narrative title from other developers, but it is a feature, and in those games, people really do like that sort of feature. There is a lot more risk and reward for the decisions you make that impact the story. On top of all of that, Lisa goes on to talk about their collaboration with NetEase, who recently acquired Quantic Dream for $100 million. Many people assumed that NetEase would be very hands-on and take away the creative freedom of Quantic Dream, but Lisa says one of the amazing things about working with NetEase is that they're not imposing release dates on us. Quantic Dream has always released games when they are ready, and I think the high level of quality that you get when you buy a Quantic Dream game is a testament to the value of that approach. It's the same exact same thing with Star Wars Eclipse, so you know it's too early right now to give any update on it. As I mentioned earlier in this video, as well as when the news broke in a previous video, Quantic Dream are targeting 2026, but there is always a chance it does slip. I talked about the reasons behind why this game is so far away. They have been struggling to hire people. The engine they use is not built for a game like this, with a lot more gameplay and even potentially multiplayer, things like that. The game's trailer brought so many really interesting ideas and visuals to Star Wars, in my opinion. It looked really cool and offered something that people have been wanting for quite some time. However, we do now know that the trailer wasn't really all Star Wars. There were assets used from games that were not Star Wars and things like that. It's not exactly going smoothly over there at Quantic Dream and Star Wars Eclipse. However, this game is still in development. They're still hiring for it. They are working on it, as you can see here. We'll just have to wait even longer for even more details and actual gameplay. I'd love to hear your thoughts on anything I've talked about in this video, so please do let me know down in the comment section below. And please do drop a like to help support the channel. Subscribe so you don't miss any future Star Wars Eclipse videos. And if you did miss any of my previous news updates, click on the playlist on screen right now. And I shall see you in my next video. Goodbye.